You know, as, as uh, nerdy as the Call of Duty community is, I think it's funny how little micro communities kind of form within the overall Call of Duty community. Like you have the quick scopers, but then you also have the hardcore players. Then you also have the MLG players who are different than the hardcore players. You have the casual players. You have the uh, SMG. Like you have so many different groups of players. And I think it's actually, it's good and bad for a game to have communities like that. Because not necessarily with Call of Duty, because everyone just gets pissed off at everyone in this community. Let's be honest, they do. But in games like Undertale, everyone knows about the Undertale. There is the community that says, you know, you have to be evil. The community that has to be, um, so you have to be good, basically. But every community kind of has an overarching thing, right? The Call of Duty thing is that all other games are bad, right? That That's what Call of Duty's player is kind of known for. All of the games are bad, for the most part. And the Undertale thing is, when you play the game, everyone's just like, um, why aren't you going full pacifist? Why aren't you going full good guy? Why aren't you going full bad guy? And so Call of Duty is, oh, you know, there's no, there's, this is the best game in the world. Communities like that, I actually don't like to be a part of because... There is no, like in my opinion, there's no best game in the world. You know, I was playing with my friend Connor ages ago when I first started, um, you know, making YouTube videos. Like, I think I was like three months in at this point, right? And I was like, I'm going to be a Call of Duty YouTuber because Call of Duty is the best game in the world. And then I didn't upload any other game but Call of Duty, and it I hated it after like five videos. I was like... I can't upload anything else because everyone's gonna hate me. Because that's what I expected. Was everyone to hate me if I changed games? Now it's like, why well, do I have more than one game for sure going on at one time? And I like it way better. The community is very well. The, the main community is very close-minded, and I think that you know that might be a fringe group where not everyone, well, not the majority of Call of Duty players is like that. Probably not, but. You know, you never know. It would be interesting to see if the main majority of people that own and play Call of Duty as their main game just say it's the best game in the world and all the other games are complete crap. I know when I play this game, I do feel like an outsider. I don't know why, because I, 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 I think it's just... I, I think I do know why, and it's because I don't treat this game like it's my main game, right? And that's what the community is known for doing. And if I'm not part of the community and I'm still playing the game, you do feel like an outsider. And by the way, this perspective is all coming from someone that has been playing Call of Duty for like six or seven years. Seven, seven years now. And you know what? I definitely think the community has changed. I think it might be less toxic now. I think that's just the nature right now. But I still always feel like an outsider because there was a time... When I stopped playing Call of Duty, I sound like I'm like recovering from an addiction or something. But I just stopped playing Call of Duty, and I played a lot of Rainbow Six Siege. So I play Call of Duty very differently than like everybody. I play Call of Duty like it's a, a competitive shooter, way more than everyone else. You know, everyone else treats it as a go out and try to be Rambo, and I treat it like I'm not gonna die kind of game. And it's really weird when I'm playing, watching my teammates play oh so differently than I am, because then I really feel like an outsider. But, you know, that might be a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing that I play differently because sometimes we need my play style and I, then I can feel special. But you know, to each their own, when I play this game, even if you use noob tubes all the time, and by the way, I will always call it a noob tube forever, but if you always use noob tubes, that's your play style and that's a valid play style. I will still get pissed off at you and call you a complete fag. I will still do that. But at the end of the day, I just play differently too. Personally, I do think that diversifying the games you play definitely makes gaming a whole lot more fun. Yeah, you're not going to be the best at every single game. If you're an esports player, that's different. You do need to be the best at your game. But you're not going to be the best at every game, but you're going to have a lot more just gaming experiences and gaming memories and it's not going to be the same old same old because that happened to me at one point where I didn't want to play any video games because I played Call of Duty specifically I played that way too much
that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new because I upload Call of Duty every Tuesday, Thursday, and or Sunday. I'm Iron Pacific. See you guys in the next episode of whatever I decide to make.